we'll start. Good morning, Mineola. Um, just wanted to take a minute and uh, take a minute to pray with you. My, the boys and I are out um, driving today, and so the piece of scripture that's just been rolling around in my head was, um, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is such a gorgeous day um, today, and I think as a Minnesotan and as a Midwesterner, we take these days that are just beautiful blue sky and the spring days as they turn, the grass turns green and the fields are being turned over and we don't take them for granted. We don't, um, they don't just come and go every time they are present to us. We just acknowledge them and love them and, and say thank you. Um, and this is the day that the Lord has made and so let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I think perhaps for today, for this, for this gorgeous, beautiful spring day, for all of us to find that way to rejoice and be glad in this day that we've been given. Um, whether that's taking a drive, rolling the windows down, blaring some music and um, enjoying the breeze, whether that's taking a chair out under um, the sun and reading a book, whether that's just, you know, cozying up to a window, um, opening up a little bit and just enjoying the outside and, and the beauty of this particular day, um, to take a minute, to take some time today to breathe in and out the joy of just being alive. Um, that is what I commend to you today. Take that time, take that time to pray, to give thanks, and to hold those that we love so dear in our hearts. So I'm um, going to leave you with that this day. Know that as I continue to drive, I hold each and every one of you in prayer and in love, um, as well as so many others, those around our world, um, our country, right here in Minnesota, who are helping to lead and keep us all safe in the midst of this COVID-19 crisis that we find ourselves. So take this day. Remember that it has been made by our Lord and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Amen.